What's going on YouTube? It's Pelfrey and this is the Red CBD for 250. We've been on the new floor for a while now. What I did notice is, looks like the tank was pushed back a little bit. So probably gonna have to drain it down again and just move the glass section forward a little bit. But it does look like for the most part, everything has done well. Um, I did test the water and unfortunately the elk is like 8.3 which was great and uh, my nitrates were zero and phosphates were 0 0.03 which is a no-go so i did pull the reactor with roll falls offline um and it, it's terrible i've wasted carbon and roll falls because i had them mixed together but uh, i didn't want to run it anymore because the phosphates have completely bottomed out um, so yeah, you know, this tank has never been nutrient deficient until now, but I definitely do not want to get dinos in the tank. So I removed the, the reactor altogether, which by the way, the, for some reason, the top of my BRS mini reactor had water sitting on top of it, like the top of the, where the canister screws in. So yeah, I don't know how the water got there, but it was a good thing I caught that, but, um, to um, kick back the nutrients, of course, I'm gonna step my feeding up a little bit, but, and I've held on to this for a while. So, I did have the reactor over there, and I may tune this light to uh, cut it back a little bit, but I do still have nitrates, so I still, I'm gonna dose that pretty consecutively. And I've used this before, so phosphorus, uh, one cup full for like 20 liters of water, and to be on the safe side, I just do like one cup full and then test again. So I'm gonna do a cup and then um, test phosphates. And you know, I may even add phosphates to my, and nitrates to my auto top off container, just a little bit, just so that the tank is being fed phosphates and nitrates on a regular basis. Now, the corals surprisingly aren't looking terrible. Now, since the move, the uh, purple stylo hasn't really opened up yet all the way. I mean, it's opened up quite a bit. It took a few days for the forest fire digi to open up, but everything else has opened up quite well. But all the other corals have done uh, surprisingly well, like I said. And I do need to work on mounting my light stand because the bar is just a little too close to the glass, which I have this foam pad right here that I previously kept behind it. And I just don't want that lay on the glass, but the good thing is, is with the two radions and the uh, auto feeder, it doesn't weigh anything. So, but it's not quite centered. It's not necessarily a concern of mine. Um, I still need to do uh, reset the reef link, but I uh, just noticed recently that there was a Mobius update for Ecotech products, older products. And the firmware on my lights has been upgraded. So it is Mobius ready. I'm just waiting for Mobius to be ready for me. Um, let's see what else is going on here. I am fixing to go on vacation. So I'll probably pull the Tunes ATO pump out of here and put a 10 gallon bucket over here so that it can have auto top off water for the week. The sand bed looks pretty terrible. The glass is still getting dirty. And it might very well be because of the lack of nutrients. Um, yeah, you know, the, the corals are doing great. Now I do run my lights at like a, I wanna say like a lower, like a high 50, lower 60 percentage as far as intensity is concerned. So I'm not super bright. Of course the AV plus schedule. Um, and you know, I got great flow in the tank provided by two tuned 6055s that have been upgraded with 6095 parts for a wide flow. All of the soft corals seem to love the flow in the tank. The SPS corals, I mean, this bird's nest has, has looked great. It doesn't look so great on the camera, but I definitely need to look into getting some more fish for the tank. And when I drain the tank down, when I drain the tank down to move it a little bit, I probably need to work on catching as much as I like the flame hawk fish, I think he's got to go. He's just not been 
the ultimate citizen that I need to tank. Um, I don't know, there's been a lot going on, especially since we've got the new floor in here, which I love, by the way. Uh, still need to work on the equipment cabinet, and I need to get it mounted to the stand, and I need to mount some equipment in there. I do have some double-sided tape, so I've just been lazy with that. There's just, you know, I'm just watching the tank at this point. Surprisingly not tinkering with it. Uh, there's a, been an explosion of Asterina starfish in the tank, and I need to get those out. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier or not, but I haven't seen any of the emerald crabs that I've bought. But to be fair, I put them in the tank, and I drained it down almost 100%, moved it, filled it back up, let it sit there for two days, drained it again almost 100% to fill it back up. <coughs> but there's an old frag here that was actually starting to open up until the bubble algae started to um, appear on there. So if uh, I don't see any more of the emerald crabs or the bubble algae doesn't subside a little bit, then I'm gonna have to order some more. I probably should have waited on that order anyway, since I knew that the tank was gonna move. Um, I am dosing still 200 milliliters a day of Kalkwasser. The back glass pretty well shows that. It seems like every time I dose that amount of Kalkwasser, the back glass will get a crazy amount of coralline algae, which for some reason, this glass over here doesn't have that, but we've got some pretty good algae growing on the back glass on this side of the tank. Some snails just over here, just hanging out, having a good time. Really love the uh, last order I got from them because those snails are small. They go everywhere. They do everything. But the growth tips on the uh, green slimer colony has done surprisingly yeah. well. And overall, everything has done you know well in the tank considering the stress of moving the tank. Uh, not to mention, you know, keeping the corals. I was really, really worried about the LPS corals uh, being out of water. You know, they weren't out of water for a super long time, but any time that you have just the, the, the LPS just like drooped over, drooped over, drooped over, that does make me a little nervous. Uh, like I said, the uh, Digitata um, took a couple days to open back up, but for the most part, everything went smooth. And again, uh, I mentioned this before, but having a three foot tank made the move super, super easy, especially because I was moving from a hardwood floor onto a hardwood floor, and I basically broke up the hardwood flooring so that there was only like an inch or half an inch gap between the two pieces, and moving over to the new flooring was great. Uh, don't mind the baseboards there, we still have to get that done. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm super thrilled with the way the tank's going, and it really is, um, it's been a blessing, you know, I finally left things alone. The tank has um, kind of taken uh, a mind of its own, if you will, and, and corals have really responded well, especially the SPS corals, which, you know, notoriously I've had problems with. Now, you know, the only complaint that I have is, is I do like this rockscape, <coughs> but I would probably do it differently um, in another tank, but you know, that's a, that's a topic for a, a different day. I mean, at the end of the day, I am happy with the way the tank set up. I'm happy with the direction of the tank. And all I could wish for is trying to keep everything as stable as possible, keeping salinity stable, keeping heat stable, and, um, you know, hoping for coral growth and no fish injuries. So with that said, you know, I do appreciate you following along. I do always appreciate any input. Uh, I know I ramble on quite a bit, but that's just kind of what happens when you have a camera going and you have many topics to discuss or, you know, give your opinions about. I am thoroughly thrilled to uh, get the Radions on the Mobius app. Uh, like I said, I've had just a few issues with the ReefLink and, you know, just over a year now, those issues just started popping up. So. If I had to rate the reef link, I would still give it an eight out of 10 because for, you know, 98% of the time I've had zero issues with the reef link and I just feel like it's something that I need to reset. 
and uh, reconfigured. Uh, the good thing is you can save your light schedule and then upload it again. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, this is the Red Sea Reefer 250. We're going on a couple, what, five, six years now. And I think we're finally getting somewhere. So uh, as always, be sure to check out the website at pelfrey.net. Check me out on Instagram at Pelfrey's Reef. And I'll catch you on the next one.